Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Real Sports Updates here with another video. So I'm going to jump right into it. You guys see what's going on here. So Joshua Kelly, he is my first gut candidate. Right now, obviously, the roster is going to have to be trimmed down to 53 men um, by, I can't remember whichever date it is, but it's after pretty much right after the last preseason game. So, you know, Tom Telesco, Brandon Staley going to be up late burning the midnight oil. There are going to be some tough uh, cuts that the Chargers are going to have to make. Uh, there were some tough cuts last year. There were some cuts that a lot of people were not uh, particularly happy with, uh, me included. But, you know, it is what it is. So I think there's going to be more of the same this year. Um, but I feel like w one guy that they are not going to have trouble with is Joshua Kelly. Now, Joshua Kelly was a fourth round draft pick uh, two years ago, 2020, um, out of UCLA. And... You know, to sum up his career, he really has not done much for the Chargers. And th th this is, I'm going to be getting into this, you know, with a few other guys. And none of this is personal. I'm just looking at what's going on on the field. I don't know anything about these guys. And as far as their personal life goes, I don't know them from apple butter. So I cannot, you know, speak on anything about them personal or whatever, whatever they got going on in their lives. I'm not in it. I'm just speaking of what they do on the field. And how they can help this team. Are they an asset to this team or are they a liability? So that's just a disclaimer there. So Joshua Kelly has not done it much in his career in the NFL so far. His best game was the first game of his career. Uh, and that was that game against the Bengals to start off the uh, 2020 season. And he hasn't done anything since then. Like, I, I just don't understand. I don't understand how he's was in games last year to be honest with you now his total numbers for last year total numbers were 33 rushes for 102 yards that is uh especially for a guy if you're vying for the backup role behind uh austin eckler and he was uh so was larry roundtree but you know obviously that has been shut down with the drafting of uh isaiah spiller so that is over number two uh running back position is locked up but Going forward, right, the number three running back position, I don't think that Joshua Kelly is a guy that needs to be on this roster. And, you know, could he be a value somewhere else? I'm sure he can, but he has not done anything for the Chargers. He really has not. And his first, if your best game, if you've been in the league for three years and your best game in the league was your first game, um, you know, you're going to be down to that, you know, may, you're maybe going to be the 54th guy. Uh, you know, when it comes to cut time. So you're probably not going to make this team. And I, I don't think that Josh Kelly is going to make this team this year. He just hasn't shown the ability to really do anything at an average level in the NFL for a running back. Um, number one is the, the the thing that jumps out to me when I watch Josh Kelly, the thing that just out of everything else that jumps out to me is the vision. He does not have any vision at all. I cannot remember a running back really in my lifetime who I've seen get stopped for more one yard gains than Joshua Kelly. And this has been happening for the past couple of seasons now. He is the king of the one yard gain. And I just don't understand. I really, really do not understand. Now, I made a video, I think now it's a couple months, a couple months ago now, uh, about the the third string running back who who can potentially be the third string running back and i kind of went over their stats and I, I i you know i did a deeper dive into uh joshua kelly and larry roundtree stats um so you can go back to that video and watch it if you want the the deep dive of it i'm just kind of just summing it up here but joshua kelly does not have the vision to even be out on the field that's number one that's what jumps off, jumps out to me when he has the ball number two the other thing that jumps out to me his pass protection is trash. He is a liability in pass protection. And that is the number one thing that will get you set down if you're a running back. Uh, at pretty much any level, any level, you think of high school football to college to NFL. If you are a liability in pass protection as a running back, you can't play. You can't be on the field because you need to be there and you need to be able to, if you're not going to, you know, Stand head up with guys. You need to be able to at least chip guys and at least impede them before they get to the quarterback. Joshua Kelly does not do that. He does not do that. And he has shown that he is really, that's not who he is. He's not a guy that does that. So no pass protection, uh, no vision, and then no explosion either. Anytime he's had the ball, you know, he doesn't 
have that explosiveness. He doesn't have that extra gear that you can get to that, you know, maybe you want to change a pace back. You know, you come in uh, off of Austin Eckler, you know, giving Austin Eckler a breather on, you know, some second, some third downs, whatever. Uh, You need a guy who's going to have a little bit of explosion. He doesn't need to be the fastest guy in the world, but he does need to have explosion. And that's something that I think the Chargers have really struggled with over the past couple of years. They don't have enough explosiveness in the backfield, right? Aside from Austin Eckler. Now, Austin Eckler is not a huge, he's not a, 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 a big guy, and he's not a very fast guy as far as 40-wise, you know, the 40-yard 40, 40 dash times and stuff. But Austin Eckler has that explosion. If you open a hole for him, if you open a lane for him, he can explode into the defensive backfield, right? He can pick up 20 to 25 yards on the carry, right, if the lanes are open for him. Joshua Kelly is not somebody who can do that. His longest run of 2021 was 14 yards. That is not good enough. It's just not good enough at all, especially for a team that is vying for a division championship, right? Hoping to have a lot of success in the playoffs, possibly, you know, maybe a Super Bowl berth if all the cards are, you know, dealt right. That's not good enough. It's just not good enough for this team, especially where the Chargers want to be, right? The mediocre stuff, you know, over the past couple of seasons, I mean, that's been fine because, I mean, it hasn't been fine, but it's been more acceptable because people understand that, okay, this Charger team, once they get everything together, they're going to have a real shot, you know, at winning this. And this is the year that everything is pretty much coming together. So all of the mediocre stuff of the past, you know, two to three seasons, all of that stuff has got to leave. It's got to go. And Josh Kelly has been a part of that. He's been a part of the mediocre, you know, status quo stuff that the Chargers have been doing. He's just not good enough. And he's shown it over the past two seasons. He has had a very, very large sample size to show what he can do. And he just not, he's not good enough. He, he, he really is just not good enough. Like I said, maybe he can be of you know, some good of some service to another team somewhere else. Maybe that that is a a definite possibility. But as far as him and, you know, as far as him being a part of this Charger team, I just I don't see it. I really, really do not see it. Really. I just can't. I can't. There's too much too much going on. There's been too much of a big sample size, um, too much of a big sample size to 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 say, hey, this guy can give you something you know, all season long. It just, it's not there. It has not been there for the past two seasons. So I believe the Chargers should go ahead and cut him. Um, I don't even think they need to wait until, you know, whatever cut day is uh, after the last preseason game. I don't even think they need to wait that long. I think he can be a part of, if there's going to be a first wave of cuts, I, I, he should be a part of the first wave of cuts. Now, he is going to be a $390,000 dead cap hit. So that is not, you know, a lot. That's not the astronomical number, right? To get this guy out of here, right? And free up a, a, a spot because that's pretty much what the Chargers are going to do now, right? They're going to be looking around for spots to get as many good players on this team as they can. And Joshua Kelly is not a good player on this team. So he needs to go and his spot needs to be taken over by somebody who's going to contribute, right? From any position, right? Offense, defense, whatever. His spot needs to be taken over by somebody who needs to contribute. And Being the third running back, you're probably going to have to contribute on special teams as well, too. So you're going to have to, you know, embrace playing special teams. And I don't know if guys who have been in the league, um, you know, have been fourth round picks and stuff. I don't know if they're committed to playing special teams. I don't know if if they are really into it. I don't know if they bought into it. You know, maybe they might just be trying to get on the field in some way. Right. And that's not a bad thing. But if you're the third running back on this team, this Chargers team, you're going to be playing more special teams than you are on the on the field you know for offense so it, it is what it is the Chargers just have too many good players they drafted a really good running back uh, in the fourth round this past season so the third running back is going to have to play special teams so you need a guy who can play special teams um Josh Kelly he's not stood out to me on special teams uh neither has Larry Roundtree to be honest with you so you know I really don't know what the Chargers are going to do here but I think it's time to cut bait with Josh Kelly I really do um Great smile, you know, the Chargers always posting stuff about his smile, you know, great smile, you know, looks like a happy guy, but as far as his effectiveness on the field, as far as him being a guy who helps the Chargers get over the hump, it's just not there, he's not the guy, He he's just not the guy, um, and it is what it is, right, there are guys who are just not going to be fits, there are guys who are not going to work out, um, there's draft whiffs, you know, guy, the 
teams whiff on guys all the time in the draft. So it is what it is. You just got at this point right now, the Chargers need just need to cut their losses. They have a bunch of talented running backs, undrafted free agents. They have you know other guys that they can go and look at. Um, I propose bringing just Justin Jackson back for the to be the third running back. Justin Jackson has been a guy who has been very good for the Chargers since he came into the league. Um, whenever he's been called upon, he has produced. And you know he is shifty. He's got some moves. He's got some explosion. You know he went on that that seventy five yard run last year against the Patriots. He's a guy he can he he can break it open uh, a little bit. And you know he is familiar with the Chargers offense as well too. And he's a free agent right there. He's still out. He's still out there. He has not been signed yet. Uh, so hopefully the Chargers go and take a look at him because I would much, much rather prefer to have him back as a third running back as opposed to Joshua Kelly or even Larry Roundtree uh, for that matter as well, too. So I think the Chargers got to do some some work there in, in the, the running back room to, to get that solid. You know, you get, get your third running back in, get him solid. And, um, you know, I think they'll have success that way. But as far as Joshua Kelly, just cut your losses, move on. And, you know, live to fight another day. Same thing for Joshua Kelly, too. Cut your losses, move on, go to the next team, and just get better. So none of it is personal. This is all business. Uh, I'm a Charger fan, diehard Charger fan. I want to see the Chargers in the Super Bowl. And I want the best players on the team who are going to give us the best chance to make it there. And Joshua Kelly is not one of those guys. So it is what it is, right? Um, but that's all I got for this video, guys. I'm going to be doing a few more of these uh Guys who I feel like need to be cut. Now, I'm, I'm probably not going to, you know, cover any bubble guys who may make the team, who may not. I'm just going to go with what I see as a Charger fan, uh, with what I see as a football fan. When I turn on Chargers football and I say, hey, maybe this guy is not, maybe maybe the Chargers need to go in a different direction. So those are pretty much the guys I'm going to be covering. Um, so there will only be a few videos, but that's all I got for this one, guys. Um if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for all of the comments, all the likes, um, all of your subscriptions. It is really, really, really helping me out in the algorithm. Um, and I'm going to continue dropping more content as camp rolls on, as these stories roll on. I'm going to try to cover as much as I can. Um, but that's all I got for this one, guys. Um, until next time, I will see you later.